What's good, YouTube fam? It's your favorite girl, Jay Shara, coming back to you with yet another reaction video. Today, if you have not read the title, which I am sure, I'm very positive that you have, that's why you're here, right? But if you didn't, I'm gonna let you know I'm reacting to Bill Burr, Big Shit Story. I'm going to, you know, take a leap of faith and say that I don't think, I don't assume that he's going to be talking about what this thumbnail um implies uh, it's probably gonna be about a very bad time that he's gonna explain that he had i'm praying that's the case because i'm not trying to hear about shit literally <laughs> so before we get into this video just make sure that you follow me on instagram so you can stay updated with me at j shara with an h at the end tap that subscribe button also tap that notification bell so you can stay updated with all of my latest and greatest reaction videos Let's get into it. I don't know. My girl's like, let's go get something to eat. <laughs> I said, all right. There's a fucking McDonald's right there. Man. And she's like, do you want to eat there? And so I was looking down at the ground all sad. You know? Just doing that classic female manipulation thing. <laughs> she knew I wanted to eat there. I just said, there's a McDonald's there. And then why would that she sounds say, so good. do you want to eat there? And look down at the ground. This question is for all the young male listeners of my whispering podcast. Why would a female do that? Because she doesn't. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because she doesn't want to, not only does she not want to fucking eat there, she already has a place do. where she wants to eat. <laughs> she's, already, she's already had this place that she's want, wanted to eat at for probably a month before you ever went to Vegas. But she's not going to tell you about it. Because if she told you about it, that'd give you time to do research on it and find out how fucking expensive it is. <laughs> so she's like, do you want to eat there? And she looks down at the ground. So immediately, despite the fact that I know all this about females, I take the bait. Why? Where do you want to eat, sweetheart? <laughs> and this is Burger Place at Mandalay Bay. I heard it was really nice. Do you ever watch Top Chef? Uh, only when you're watching it, sweetheart. I don't <laughs> like that show. The fucking show is annoying. I hate good shows. Hey, when the chef starts screaming at those people. Right. It's a fucking foreign accent. <laughs> you call that a fucking grilled cheese sandwich? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my kitchen. Hey, hey. Bye. You think I'm fucking afraid of you? You fucking douche. <laughs> you got a fucking problem with my grilled cheese sandwich? You come up like a fucking gentleman. And you take me aside. Don't fucking be screaming at me. With right. These fucking knives in my hand. Right. Stick it right through your goddamn trachea. <laughs> you know I mean? Huh? I'll give you a fucking blowhole. <laughs> right out the front of your fucking neck. Get out of my goddamn face before I take you out of your fucking hair and mush your face into this pile of the shit. The whispering is so huh? creepy. That I haven't taken the shelves off. So I'll give you a bunch of little razor cuts. It's like he's serious. He will do it. Sorry. But that's the good shit, Mandalay Bay. The bad shit is we go to this fucking burger place. I can't even remember the name of it. We go in there. And I, I order a $16.50 fucking Kobe beef burger. And they're talking about how it's the greatest goddamn burger. All, you know, the highest quality fucking meat. Yada, fucking yada. The girl <laughs> orders one, too. $16.50 and $16.50. What is that? <laughs> that's 33 bucks. Damn. Plus fries, plus drinks. Should have went to Mickey All that D's. Bullshit, you know, the mom tastes better of it. Anymore. You can't go out and get yourself a two dollar steak. The whole fucking place out there now is a goddamn. It's a fuck over. Vegas is expensive. So whatever, it cost me like forty something bucks, fifty bucks with the goddamn tip. You want to eat I, well? You know what? It wasn't even that good. He's so My mad. Like, How's your burger? You know what I said? I said it's good. <laughs> Just keeping the peace, keeping <laughs> the water nice and smooth, nice and fucking still. On the horizon. Okay? So anyways, I get back to my hotel. My girl already tells me she doesn't feel too good. That that burger's sitting in her like a goddamn boot. I'm like, <laughs> like I get boot. ready to do my show. Iron my button-down shirt. Put a little conditioner in my hair. What's left of it? I'm like, what? I'm little, <laughs> I get downstairs to go work the Orleans Casino. 
the last place Carlin ever worked, the place where the Smothers Brothers retired. Mm Mm-hmm. You know? I didn't know all that. Smothers Brothers, who were so fucking edgy, they actually lost their sketch show. During the Vietnam War, they did, I forget what the sketch was, but they had the balls to say no to the network and do a, uh, a sketch that was actually criticizing what the fuck we were doing over there and they lost their goddamn show. Mm-hmm. You know? I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's lifetime respect. Right. For so anyways, real. I walked down there and I'm going through the Orleans Casino and then all of a sudden it just fucking hits me. Boom, right in my stomach, like some capsule, some time release CIA. <laughs> that burger? You're going to shit your pants, fucking capsule goes off. And I know there is no question that whatever I just ate was not good for my body and it was about to reject it one way or the other. Ew. Without getting from people. When something goes into your stomach, if it's coming out, it only has two options. All right? That happens to me. Okay, never mind. Anyways. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I just thought of a really, really bad joke for the fucking third one, and I'm not going to say it. <laughs> it's me too. Like stabbing yourself in the stomach, <laughs> and you can fill in the blanks on that one. I was going to say right. Chipotle and leave it So anyways, uh, <laughs> so I'm like, you got to be fucking, you got to be shitting me, no pun intended, so <laughs> in the back way, the same way that Carlin used to go in. Because I've already t- asked everybody every fucking question. Literally, so much I'm into Carlin. How did he leave? Did he hang out? No, he'd say goodnight and he would go right out the door and he'd be in the car. And he wasn't difficult to work with. I guess he had arthritis at the end of his life. And uh, mm-hmm. the sound guy was saying one show he forgot to take the bottle caps off the water bottles. Aww. And he saw that Carlin was struggling with them. And when he got off, he goes, George, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And George just like, what? What? Oh, come on, come on. I don't give a shit. Don't worry. Just walked out. I guess he was a really great guy. Aww. So anyways, I'm walking through this legendary door. And, uh, you know, and what's worse is, like, I know it's going to happen. But I know it's not going to happen for, like, another 15 minutes. And coincidentally, the fucking show starts in 15 minutes. Oh. Going on first. No. All right? And this guy, when you're backstage, literally says... 20 minutes till showtime. 20 minutes till showtime. He like counts it down. Oh, they will have to wait on me. I'm sorry. Shows, but this guy counting down the show is making me nervous. 15 minutes till showtime. I'm not waiting for okay. anyone. And it's starting to get worse and fuck it. Get, literally gets down to two minutes before Why didn't he showtime. Go? And I'm questioning, can I make it through a half hour set? And I was oh, like, you no. know what? Fuck this. The show can't start without me. My opening music is Elvis Presley anyways. The fuck do I care? They can listen to that song. I'm going to rub my fingers through your long black hair. <laughs> Slam your fucking face off the fucking sink. Oh my oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. I don't give a shit. And I said, fuck it. And I fucking ran into the bathroom. And uh, I will spare you the Thank details. You. But you Thank know it's something either amazing or... Uh, something amazing happens, they make a statue. If something horrific happens, a lot of times they will preserve the area. (laughs) Like Dealey Plaza. (laughs) Fucking president gets his brains blown out. All of a sudden, we can't change one blade of fucking grass. (laughs) The horror that happened in that fucking bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. I never do shit jokes. They should have retired that fucking bathroom. That's it. They should have just fucking. Uh, this is so disgusting. Air sealed it and just put a glass. This is disgusting. So people could look in. And <laughs> realize why they closed that fucking burger so people at the Mandalay in. Bay. You went in the and, burger. Uh, I gotta admit, dude. I I haven't. This it's Monday. I'm finally back to normal. He went to the burger place and did that. So there you go. This is my big shit story. I had a burger over at the fucking. Mandalay Bay. Yeah, I'm never eating there. And it almost ruined my fucking show over at the Orleans. So if you guys saw me, anybody saw me Saturday night, all right, you want to talk about a professional because I extra fucking killed on that show. (laughs) If you knew what the fuck happened, just know that. (laughs) The next time you go to Vegas and you go to see Barry Manilow and he's singing that song, Mandy, 
you something, you something, and you something, but I still want to fuck you, oh, Mandy. Right? What? Just know that he could have just been shitting his fucking brain. Ew. Two minutes before. Now I'm going to think of that. Fucking slacks with his horrific plastic surgery. His yank back face. I bet, you know. He's rude. I was going to say he'd be in another facelift if he fucking shit the way I did before my show. <laughs> but that's actually not true. There's no straight. There was no straightening. Uh, anyways, all right, Bill. Jesus Christ, enough already. Why did he get into that story? Why did he get into that story? He is a mess, dude. I gave Bill the benefit of the doubt and said, you know what? Bill is crazy, but he's not that crazy. Like, but apparently he is. He was talking about exactly what the thumbnail in the freaking title said. You know, I thought we were, I thought he was beating around the bush, but lo and behold, he was talking about shit. So there you have it. Oh yeah, he was like, imagine if you go to a show. I immediately in my head, I was picturing, because I love concerts, that is probably my favorite pastime. I love listening to music. So I imagine if I go to the next concert or if I'm going to see Drake or The Weeknd or anything like that, now that's gonna ruin it for me because it's like, you're sitting here going crazy over these artists, screaming and yelling and having a good time and so nervous when you meet them. But if you picture them, you know, blasting the toilet before they come on stage, I feel like that's gonna calm your nerves. It's really gonna calm you down if you think about that. It might just even turn you off. But <laughs> other than that, if you enjoyed this reaction, be sure to give me a beautiful thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can become a J-Bay immediately. Hit that notification bell so you can stay updated with all of my latest and greatest reaction videos. You know that I love you. You love yourself 10 times more. Have a beautiful day or night in this amazing world. Ciao.